Welcome guys to another episode where we are going to show you how patients get results or don't get results. My name is Christopher Medina. I am your hearing care professional and welcome to the hearing breakdown. Welcome guys. So on today's episode, we have a new patient coming in for the first time for a new consultation. Uh, seems like he's having trouble understanding speech in a group setting as well as listening to the, tel the television and also suffering from tinnitus or tinnitus, which is basically ringing in the ears. So let's dive right in. So how's your hearing? Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. You know, I have a problem to hear feminine voices. Yeah. And also sometimes the television. And, uh, and I have a little bit of a, that sound, how you call it? Tinnitus? Tinnitus. Yes, so just a quick note on tinnitus. Tinnitus is basically ringing in the ears and it can come in a variety of sounds. It can be a humming sound, wind sound. This patient says that he hears ocean waves. So it could sound different for different patients and it could be in different severity levels. Okay, the sound looks clear. Yeah, they're both clean. That's good. So come over here. Let's have a seat inside here for me, please. Just watch your step there, okay? My, my good angle, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and whenever you hear the beeps, you're going to raise your hand for me, okay? Okay. Even if it's really soft. So whatever you hear, just raise your hand. Mask on? Yeah, it's bad. I mean, it doesn't... So we checked the patient's ears. Uh, we did the otoscopy, which is basically check inside the ears. We didn't find any wax, any fluids, any foreign objects. And the reason why we check for that is because sometimes when you have too much wax buildup or an ear infection, or maybe something, you just put something in your ear and it got stuck, sometimes it can cause some degree of hearing loss and stuff like that, you know, I, I would refer out to an ENT doctor to have that extracted or treated, depending on what the case is. Um, but yeah, so this patient, we tested him, we did find some degree of hearing loss and he agreed to move forward with a fitting. So that's what we're gonna watch next. Okay, let me see the size. Yeah, so this is... not that big. So yeah, the hearing is just behind. Do you have problems to wear glasses, mask, and... Uh, no, it's gonna be on the side. So you just gotta be careful when you're taking your yes, mask of course, off yes. and all that, but it should be fine. Let it should me be remove fine. this one. Sure, 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 go ahead. All right, so right off the bat, the patient had some concerns with this style hearing aid, which is the receiver in the canal. Uh, he was asking about if it was going to interfere with his glasses and taking on and off the mask. Can be a little troublesome here and there, but uh, I feel like once you create the habit of carefully putting on and taking off everything, everything should be fine. And hopefully one day we don't have to wear masks anymore. But um, we put on the hearing aids, we turned them on, uh, we're gonna get into some of the adjustments and we'll see what the patient thinks. Okay, Mr. Cabrera, so right now, now the hearing aids are on. Does that sound a little too loud? Too loud. Too loud? Okay, give me one second. All right, so right now I went down a little bit. How does that sound? Does that sound a little bit better? Yes. Okay, do you think that's comfortable or you need more, less? No, this sounds pretty comfortable, depending what okay so we set the hearing aids to a very comfortable level for the patient uh, we did when go ahead and connected his hearing aids to his phone because he has an iphone and they're compatible so now he can stream his phone calls music basically all the audio from his phone is now being streamed to his hearing aids directly uh, we went over the hearing aid onboard controls how he can manually turn up the volume turn them on and off uh, also how to charge his hearing aids because these hearing aids are rechargeable in his case uh, went over a few other questions he had he, he did have a concern of hearing his own voice uh, that's called the occlusion effect which um, you know it's pretty normal that it happens when you put something on you're now hearing yourself through the hearing aids and you're gonna hear your voice echoey sometimes it can be adjusted um, but it just depends on the hearing loss and what uh, your hearing care professional recommends during the fitting. All right, so just a quick recap. Patient came in for the first time for consultation. We went ahead and checked his ears, did a hearing test. We found some degree of hearing loss. Patient wanted to get fitted with hearing aids. We went ahead and fit him. 
uh, showed him how to use the instruments, connected it to his phone, all those little good details, and send him on his way. And just a reminder, you know, we do these videos so you guys can get an inside look of, uh, you know, what's the process in coming in to get fitted, to get checked, uh, get your hearing test done, and giving hearing aids a try. So if you guys uh, learned something or gained some knowledge, you know, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys have any questions or comments, post down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. And again, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. Take care.